6. You still sure you're okay with it? And then lastly, I've got what? 2 times 3. So if we do the math, we've got 4x to the third. We've got minus 24x squared. We've got plus 12x plus 2x squared minus 12x plus 6. My goodness, that's a lot of stuff. Can you make it that far? Yeah. Are you seeing why we covered like terms before we did these problems? Yes. Yeah, because now we got a lot of like terms combined. Do I have any like terms of 4x cubed, folks? No. So I'm going to start there. Remember, I like to start with the bigger exponents and work my way down. It's got to be in order. Next, I check for any other x squared. Do I have any other x squared? How much does that make? <laughs> Lastly, I've got a 12x and... Oh, oh, how much is that? 24x. Careful. Okay, so there's nothing. And then lastly, I got a plus six. That's as far as you can make it. That's as far as we can go. Do you feel okay on doing these types of examples with this distribution? Okay, that's it. All I would do from now on is give you a couple examples to study from, uh, but that you have on your test review.